Hey, I'm Seth with Land a House. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. So, a question was asked, what happens if you place a non-return valve, like this one, on the drive pipe? So normally, you would have your source coming down the creek, uh, and in this case, we've got a bucket with about three feet of drop, come straight down to the ram pump, and the drive pipe just comes in here, waste valve, inline valve, pressure tank. But in this case, we want to find out what happens if you put the valve here in the drive pipe. So I'm going to test that out and also place it at the bucket to see if that makes a difference as well. It may stop the pump completely. I just want to see what happens to answer this question. So the first thing I want to do is just run the test and get a pressure out of a regular ram pump with no a valve here on the waste valve. So turn the source on. We'll come down here to the pump. Turn this on. Okay, let me go ahead and clear all the air out of the pipe. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and prime this real quick. Let it run. All right, let's let it run for about two minutes and see what our pressure builds up to. And then we will swap over and put this valve in line here to see what happens. Let's go ahead and turn this on. There is one minute. Looks like our pressure is at 20 right now. Can you see that? Let's see, there we go. Okay, and there's our time for two minutes and our PSI is right at 40. That's pretty easy to remember. All right, we'll go ahead and shut this off and we will install this valve here to see what we get if there is a non-return valve right here in line. Now I'm using the swing valve because it should allow a, uh, a full bore of water to pass through there and then it will uh, lock the water back off from entering into the pipe. So if it continues to cycle, it should allow more pressure to go out than it does coming back. So our values are one minute, 20 PSI, two minutes, 40 PSI. Go ahead and let this out too. Okay, cool. All right, so what we're going to do now is change out this right here I may have to go grab another little tiny piece of PVC to fit in there. Okay, I got a little tiny piece of PVC. So we should be able to just place that right in there. And then use this here on that. I want this to be straight up and down, so... Okay, this in here. And then stand this back up. I'm trying hard to beat the rain here. Let's see if we do. Okay. Let's let the air out of here again. Ah! Getting me wet. Okay. I think the air is out. Let's go ahead and see if this thing will prime again. Two hours later. So far we're not getting anything. Normally it would have started by now. So far I'm thinking if you add a valve here, it doesn't allow the pressure wave to travel anywhere and the pump just doesn't start. Yeah, nothing's happening. It should be. Our pressure is getting close to 20, just me doing this manually. We have no cycling. And now just for the fun of testing, I have installed the non-return valve up here close to the source. So let's go back down here to the pump and see if we can get a cycle with the top of the system closed off. So it doesn't have access to uh, an open source basically. Whoops. As it turns out, you have to spin both of these on.
Okay, let's see what happens this time. Okay, we're getting a cycle. Let's go ahead and start the time. At the same one minute, we crossed over the 20 PSI. Everything is just trucking along here like it was before. Cycle time seems to be about the same. All right, and there is two minutes, and we are at 40 once again. So, to be honest, I'm seeing no change in that setup. So it looks like whenever you have a non-return valve here at the very base of the pump, there's no drive pipe for the pressure wave to travel on, and therefore nothing happens. And if you put it up here at the top, then you do have that uh, pressure wave, and it works exactly the same. And the rain is here. I gotta get the camera back inside. If you have more questions, like will a non-return valve at the pump work, then write those in the comments down below. And if you need a ram pump, check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.